In 2025, the Toyota Camry fulfills its expected role flawlessly, particularly in its fully hybrid lineup, showcasing its intricate details. Traditionally, the Toyota Camry isn't renowned for being revolutionary. Toyota established its winning formula for mid-size sedans long ago, with each subsequent iteration building upon the last. However, this new ninth-generation Camry introduces a subtle yet significant revolution, it's exclusively hybrid. This shift holds considerable significance for a vehicle that still manages to sell around 300,000 units annually in the US alone, despite the prevailing dominance of SUVs. Presently, hybrids constitute approximately 20% of Camry sales, with just under 60,000 out of the 290,000 units sold last year being hybrids. This figure is poised to increase by roughly 230,000 vehicles. I want to give a brief reminder to friends, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to support our team and stay informed about our upcoming videos by turning on the notification bell. Toyota invited us to San Diego to experience the 2025 Camry alongside several other new models. Although our time with the new sedan was brief, a few hours spent navigating mountain roads near Tecat and cruising around San Diego provided a promising initial impression. Simply put, the new Camry meets expectations precisely. Similar to the latest Prius, the Camry adopts Toyota's fifth-generation hybrid system, THS5, albeit with a switch from the 2.0-liter four-cylinder to a revamped version of the previous model's 2.5-liter engine. This four-cylinder engine boasts an exceptionally high compression ratio of 14.0 delivering 184 horsepower and 163 pound-feet of torque independently. When combined with THS's two motor generator units, the total system output climbs to 225 horsepower. In the all-wheel drive variant, an extra electric motor powers the rear wheels, pushing the total output to 232 horsepower. Otherwise, the new Camry doesn't deviate significantly from its predecessor. It retains the same platform but sports updated bodywork and a revamped interior featuring Toyota's latest infotainment system. All of Toyota's most recent driver assistance features are included as standard, as they rightly should be, alongside enhancements to the chassis and braking system. Beyond the powertrain, there's no revolutionary change, and that's a positive aspect. Buddy, don't forget to subscribe to appreciate the effort our team puts in. Mark De Jong, the chief engineer for the Camry, expressed that his team's guiding principle was to remain true to the essence of the sedan. They understand the essence of the Camry and its expected qualities, viewing their role as enhancing what already functions exceptionally well. In that regard, they've succeeded admirably. The new Camry offers exceptional refinement across all trim levels. De Jong explains that one of the objectives in calibrating the powertrain was to emulate the smooth acceleration characteristic of electric vehicles. This translates to immediate yet seamlessly responsive acceleration when the accelerator pedal is engaged. The Camry delivers on this promise, and surprisingly, it feels genuinely swift. While I anticipated missing the optional V6 engine from the previous Camry, the hybrid powertrain proves more than capable of providing ample power, from urban driving to highway speeds. Hey buddy, aren't you subscribed yet? Please don't forget to subscribe. Naturally, there's some engine noise typical of hybrid powertrains that forego traditional transmissions, as the engine is optimized to operate within the ideal rev range for acceleration. However, during cruising, this noise is barely perceptible. Although we didn't conduct formal fuel economy tests, Toyota claims 51 miles per gallon combined for the baseload and 44 miles per gallon for the all-wheel drive XSE. On a journey from the nearby mountains to downtown San Diego, we easily exceeded these figures in an XSE AWD model, even without making a conscious effort. This included running the air conditioning at full blast and maintaining pace with traffic. Toyota focused its most significant chassis adjustments on the sport models, namely the SC and XSE. 
It's worth noting that while the new Camry isn't marketed as a sports sedan, as De Jong emphasizes, the handling on winding mountain roads instills confidence. While it's unlikely that many Camry buyers prioritize such dynamics, it's reassuring to know that Toyota's engineers do. Excellent handling doesn't compromise ride quality, even when equipped with 19-inch wheels, although the XLE trim offers a noticeably more plush ride. De Jong takes particular pride in the calibration of the brake pedal, which seamlessly integrates regenerative and friction braking. The pedal exhibits immediate responsiveness at the top and has very short travel. While it's unlikely that Camry buyers will discern the nuances of brake pedal tuning, it underscores the level of refinement Toyota has invested in this vehicle. Hey buddy, remember that subscribing is free, so don't forget to subscribe. Overall, the driving experience is highly enjoyable, and it promises to be equally satisfying in daily use. You'll benefit from Toyota's new infotainment system, which, while basic, functions smoothly, along with a digital gauge cluster. Although configuring the larger gauge cluster in XSE and XLE models may initially be a bit complex, once customized to your preferences, it likely won't require frequent adjustment. While the interior material quality might not match that of some competitors, there's still a reassuring sense of durability inherent to Toyota vehicles. So, does it really matter? Both the XSE and XLE models offer an array of luxurious features, yet the SE variant appears to strike the perfect balance within the lineup. Even with all available optional packages, it remains priced under $35,000, a proposition that's hard to dispute. The only notable drawback is Toyota's overly aggressive lane keep assist feature. Kaizen, 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 De Jong emphasizes, referring to a fundamental principle of Toyota's success, which translates to continuous improvement in English. While typically associated with Toyota's renowned manufacturing process, here it pertains to the engineering ethos behind the Camry. The approach involves refining what already functions effectively to make it even better. This philosophy has long underpinned the Camry's reputation as an exceptional vehicle and it's a key factor in the success of this mid-size sedan redesign. Translated more directly, Kai signifies change, and Zen denotes for the good. Arguably, one of the Camry's most significant attributes is its role in proliferating hybrid technology on the roads. While the Camry itself represents evolution rather than revolution, its impact is substantial. Friends, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for new videos, and we would be very happy if you could leave a nice comment.